make sure that you understand how to find the arc length that is subtended by a central angle of, let's say, 60 degrees in a circle of radius 7, because that's going to be applicable to this particular problem where you're given the radius of a circle and a chord length. So for this problem over here, we, let's say the radius is 7 and the central angle is 60 degrees, the circumference of that circle we know is 2 pi r. So 2 times pi times 7 would be 14 pi. So the total distance around the circle is 14 pi. But we only want a fraction of that total distance around the circle. What fraction? Well, 60 three sixtieths. So the, the proportion that you can set up to solve for S in this problem is S is to 14 pi as 60 is to 360. Of course, 60 over 360 reduces to 1 6. So S equals 14 pi times one-sixth. And of course, you can reduce that to seven pi over three. And if you wanted to, you could get a decimal approximation for that. Okay, so now back to you, the problem posed here. Uh, what you have to understand is that if you have a chord of length 12, if you draw a radius that's perpendicular to that chord, and you could do that wherever the chord is drawn, you could draw a radius perpendicular to that chord. Uh, the radius bisects the chord, cuts it into two equal parts, and it's perpendicular. And we're going to use these two segment lengths here, the 6 and the 7, to find the measure of this angle right here. And actually, this will be the same. Uh, so if we could find what theta is and then double it, we'd have the length or the size of this central angle. And then we'd be having a problem just like this one over here. Okay, so uh, let's see. How can I find theta? Well, I've got a right triangle. And... 6 is the opposite side, so 7 is the hypotenuse opposite the right angle. So the sine of theta is equal to 6 over 7. And so theta equals the inverse sine or the arc sine of 6 sevenths. Now you've got to figure out what that value is, but if you double that, then you've got the size of this central angle, and that's what you put right here. So just let's say S equals the circumference of the circle, which in this case is 14 pi, 2 pi r. The angle is twice theta which we know theta is the inverse sine of 6 sevenths divided by 360. Okay, so that's one way to set it up to find the arc length. I'm going to quickly share my screen and go to the Desmos graphing calculator and show you that I have set up a simulation for this problem. The radius is, of the circle is represented by the letter A, and so A is 7. B is the chord length, which was 12. Uh, and I've calculated the circumference of that circle. I found the inverse sine of one of these angles and evaluated uh, twice the angle. And there's the formula that we had over there. So it looks like the answer to the problem posed on Wysant was 28.83 units. But the cool thing about this uh, is that I can vary the radius of the circle and I can vary the chord length. And you can see you get different arc lengths. So for, I think there was another problem posed where the uh, 
well, I don't have it up here, where the radius was maybe eight and the chord length was 10, something like that. So radius eight, chord length 10. There you go. So I'm going to stop the recording and I will provide the link to this uh, Desmos graph and the answer. Thank you.